What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. As y'all know, we still locked down in this COVID-19 shit, this coronavirus. <laughs> you know, we still in lockdown, we can't go nowhere. So I was like, if I can't make, you know, vlogs with the guys, then I'm just gonna make, you know, a little story time about me, because y'all probably don't know much about me. As you know, my name's Alberto. This channel's name's Alberto. Um, I used to do a channel with one of my closest friends. The channel was Zach and Alberto. We did, you know, vlogs, you know, challenges in that channel. So if y'all want to go check it out, link's going to be in the description down below. I used to, you know, play pro soccer. It's a true story. I played soccer in Mexico. It was a, you know, a great experience. Before we talk all about that, you know, I was checking in my, you know, YouTube analysis. 70% of y'all motherfuckers aren't subscribed to my channel. So if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, what are you doing, brother? Like, we're going to be... And lockdown mode for like at least two more years, so might as well subscribe. You're gonna enjoy this channel. Let's get to 100 subs, maybe to a thousand, and then 10,000, then 1,000. Then we'll probably get to PewDiePie's level and hit 100 million subscribers. I used to play soccer, you know. Well, I started playing soccer when I was like five, six, seven years old, you know, just for the fun of it, because you know, my parents put me in it. And I liked it. I was like, yo, this is cool. I like running after ball scoring and this, that. And I really started getting into, you know, like really focusing into soccer when I was like 14, 13. I was doing really good. And what made me really, you know, work harder was I got called up, you know, to go play with the national team. I went to Spain to go train against the Academy of Real Madrid. After that, like after I got called up to the national team and went up to Spain, I was like, maybe I'm doing really good. So. I'm gonna continue working hard. I busted my ass, you know. Continued my last game before, you know, I went off to college. I got called up to go play in Mexico for this team named Chivas, this pro team. And I was like, of course, three of us, three of us from the same team, we got caught up there. And then we trained, you know, we did our tryouts, we did really good. And me and one other of my other friends, we stayed. We went back home. We had like two weeks before we went back, you know, we gathered our stuff everything that we needed and then yeah early morning we got into our plane flew over there in mexico guadalajara jalisco landed you know coach picked us up we went to you know the place and i got there and i was like this is gonna be so much fun you know and then finally after i think a couple of days we started training new experience for me because everybody there was you know work busting their ass working really hard you know everything was so fast and I was like, damn, I'm not used to this, so I'm gonna have to get used to it. And me and my friend were always like, damn, bro, we need to work our asses off, you know, to make it and play. So that's what we did, you know, we continued busting our ass and doing everything that we could to, you know, start. It was difficult for us, you know, getting used to the, the high level and playing fast and this, that. One day I got to train with the pros and, you know, worked really hard, did really good. Came out, had a little kid that was like, he wanted me to sign his shirt, take a picture with him. And I'm like, I looked at him, I'm like, bro, I'm not a pro player. I'm not a pro, you gotta wait for the pros. And I like walked in, my friend grabbed me. He's like, bro, like you gotta sign their shirts even if you're not pro, cause you know, you never know if you become a pro. He can be like, oh, I was the first one that, you know, he signed. So I was like, damn. I was like, that's true. So, you know, I went back and I was like, I signed his shirt, took a picture with him. And he was like really happy. And I don't know, the feeling I had, like, it was really cool. Like just signing my first, you know, autograph, taking picture with the kid and everything. And you know, afterwards I took a shower, went up to my room and called my parents. I was like, I just signed my first autograph. Another thing, it was really hard, you know, moving to Mexico. Cause you know, I was never far away from the family. You know, I had to get used to living far from them. So I really couldn't see my mom, my dad, my sister, or my dog, you know, for a while. I think it took us like eight months, something like that, six months. So I finally saw them and it was a great feeling, you know, they finally came over here, saw where I lived, saw where I played and everything. Yeah, man, it was a great experience doing all that. We had our own place to eat. We had uh, a gym. They had us where we can go to the dentist there to like, you know, massage everything they had a protein room where we can go eat protein they would check our weights and everything our muscle how much muscle we gain how much fat we gain this that you know it was really professional out there you know and i really you know enjoyed it but yeah man it was really cool you know getting to play against like really really good players like we had tough games you know easy games we always bust our eyes to win we did you know we made it to the finals um 
got second place. Unfortunately, we got second place. You know, we did really bad that game. Like, we effed up, man. We fucked up super hard, you know. Life experience, bro. We gotta work harder to get first place. If you really want it, then, you know, you'll go get it. So, this is a trophy that we got, by the way. We got second place. I don't know if you can see that. Second place, you know, it was, it was really, you know, sad because it was like our last game before, you know, our new season was going to start. A couple weeks later, I think like a month later, they uh, told us that that there was a new rule. The first team doesn't have to be paying for us no more. Because like, the first team would be paying for us when we traveled like far and everything. They would pay like our hotels and everything. And the new rule was that they didn't have to be paying for us no more. So they said that they don't want a second division team no more. So... Yeah, they broke us up. They got all of us together and they're like, yo, uh, this is going down, you know. They don't want a second team no more, so. But we packed our stuff and, you know, we came back home. So yeah, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all did, you know, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't, because y'all know 70% of y'all motherfuckers are not subscribed. So please subscribe if you haven't. And if you have any questions for me about, you know, my soccer career or anything, just Leave it down below in the comments and I'll read and comment back to y'all. So yeah, man. Thank you for watching, guys. And I'll see y'all Monday. Thank you for watching. Bye.